yeah, I, I was a flashlight boy. So <laughs> I was I was very proud of that role. I was like, and then I kind of did some research into what flashlight boy meant, but it was cool. It's cool. <laughs> we'll have to cut part of that. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> I'm Ms. Spicer, drama teacher at the high school, and today we are talking to Ethan Mainchies. So Ethan, tell us, when did you first start at Alcana? I started Alcana in um, grade R, when I moved from Joburg. And what was your impression of Alcana when you first got here? When I walked in, I remember entering school really early in the morning because mm. my mom had work, and um, I was introduced by one of the, the teachers there, the, the aftercare teachers, mm -hmm. Tabu. Um, and Tabi, sorry, Tabi, <laughs> and she introduced me to my Sunbirds class. Aww. And I remember my first like actual memory of Alcana was my friend Kelsey coming up to me, and then she was like, "Can you come play with me?" And I was like, "Oh yes, I will." And it was just really cool. Everyone loved each other. So. Okay, and you're still friends with Kelsey in grade twelve now. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, you have been involved in a lot of Alcana House productions, some of our biggest musicals. Which ones were you involved in in junior school? Um, in junior school, I was involved in Annie and Little Mermaid. And tell me about The Little Mermaid. Who did you play in that? I was Chef Louis for The Little Mermaid. Yeah. <gasps> I remember that. Yeah. What was your experience like for sh being Chef Louis? Um, I knew I was probably going to get the role because I was like probably the most craziest person at the rehearsals. Um, it was really cool learning the French and then like the song and just like transforming into someone different. You know, it's always fun. So, oh, yeah. Brilliant. And in high school? High school, I started my first production with um, District 6 with Mr. Free. Um, and what role did you have in that? The MC. So that was also one of the crazy characters in the um, play. And it just allowed me to transform into another person. Mm. And that's what theatre is about. So. And then your final role, taking on a role in Matric. Yeah, it, well, what pushed me most was that we had the production in 2020. Yes. And um, I got the role of Ryan. And then coming into Matric, I was like, should I take it, should I not take it? And I think what pushed me was just like, this was my last year at Elkana, so mm. and it's what I love so much. Mm. So I took the role of um, Coach Bolton. Yes, And Coach I got to Bolton. work with you and so many other cool people. That was really fun. Yeah. Being able to see you guys in a different light, mm. not just as me as director, but actually, you know, having castmates. Mm -hmm. It was really fun working with you. Yeah, no, it was awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what did you learn from these experiences in the productions? Definitely, um, I remember one key phrase that took me throughout this year and um, I could resonate with in every one of my productions was um, what my producer, Ms. Fantwanda, told me, and that's um, showing up and how what's the importance of showing up and the mm. value of showing up. And I think that's what's taken me through every production, just being there and showing up and living in the experience, living in the moment. It's, it's awesome. You get to meet so many cool people in different grades and just connect. It's cool. That's wonderful. Mm. Yeah. And do you think being in all these productions pushed you? I think it's definitely got me to express sides of me that I never saw or had never discovered previously. Mm. So it almost broke me into my own character, which then led me to apply for other things that I wouldn't usually apply for, but that I knew I would be strong in. So I think um, productions have allowed me to have that mindset of just going for things I would not usually go for, and then working in the moment and in the progress. Finding that confidence. Yeah. Excellent. Mm. And you've had a very successful run as head of Ruby House. Do you have a specific moment from your time as head of Ruby? I think every break time event, um, but especially the gala. The gala was a turning point this year for me um, and the people around me working with my cheerleaders, working with the drum line, like, it was awesome. The weeks preparing for the gala and like the war cries, it was so cool. It was yeah. something I'll never forget. No, you've been an excellent head of house. And we're definitely going to miss you next year. With your journey through Alcana, who have been the teachers or the people at the school that have really inspired you or people that you are going to look fondly on in your memories? I think in the high school every single teacher has helped me in different ways. So I look at 
every subject and every teacher in that subject and teachers outside of that subject. I would use different teachers for different parts of my life or different parts of my struggles. Um, and they've helped me, they've uplifted me. I mean, I would come crying into your classroom. You would come, you would come with coffee and I would just be invited into a space that was comforting and um, it helped me through a lot. And I look at people like Mr. Crenier mm. as one of my teachers and he was just so hardcore, but it like got me through through the best times. That's wonderful. What is in store for you after Alcana? I'm hoping to go um, to university, mm. obviously, and either go into the conservation field or the psychology field. But I'm really hoping and directing myself through um, Stellenbosch mm. and the choir. Um, I'm hoping I get into the choir and that's going to be like a starting point for me to express myself in those spaces. Are there any other memories that you have? Moments from high school, moments from junior school? Oh, high school is so filled with so many memories that if I had to start now, I think we would end on Christmas Day. <laughs> um, but one fond memory was with Tando and Kelsey, mm. and it was aftercare. Um, so there were only two swings at our school. Okay, yeah. Um, it wasn't good for a friend group of three. So um, <laughs> we always used to race each other to the, the swings. And I remember the one day I, I was like the unlucky one and I didn't make it to the swings in time. So I got really upset with Tando and Kelsey and I was like, well, I'm going to prove you guys wrong. I can get like higher than you. Oh dear. So I decided to climb the tree that like goes over the, the swings. Oh goodness. And I climbed to the top of the tree <clears throat> and I was like swinging on the branches and then the tree collapsed and I collapsed on the like hard sand <laughs> floor. Yeah, no. And were you hurt? I think just the embarrassment of knowing that my friends are laughing at me, um, <laughs> that like erased all the pain that I felt. Okay, okay. And uh, any more tree climbing in your future? I think that's where it ended. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. 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 No, was thank, thank you so much for talking to us today. It's thank been you. wonderful and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much, ma'am. Ethan, I'm still irritated you never took drama. <laughs> I hounded you for years and you know you should have done it but it was wonderful having you in my life as a teacher and it was particularly special being able to perform alongside you in High School Musical. I'll treasure that time where we spent together. Also, I think your picture's still up in the theatre. 